time for a check of our first alert forecast. David's joined me at the desk. I have to say, what a beautiful way to start May. If you don't mind all the rhyming, I mean, this day was just gorgeous. I couldn't ask for better, better weather. Yeah, and I believe we'll still see sunnier skies, maybe not 80 degree temperatures, but still pleasant conditions to get out and enjoy. First quick check at the Doppler radar at this hour, showing precipitation off to our west, associated with a frontal boundary pressing closer to us, but it doesn't look like it'll actually be here for quite some time. How about the almanac for the daytime today? Seeing temperatures in the lower 80s, a pleasant day nonetheless with warm temperatures, sunny skies, and one degree off the record in the capital city. Record 84, we hit 83 today in Jackson, coming in at 81 degrees. A pleasant start to the morning as well with middle and upper 50s. We start a new month. We turn all those numbers to zeros for the precipitation daily and monthly. So we're back to square one. We'll eventually see some rain and could see those numbers change going into the latter part of the forecast. Take a look at the local temperatures right now, hovering right around 73 degrees currently in the capital city. You get down to Charlotte and in Mason, you start to see those middle and upper 60 degree temperatures. And most of us tonight will be back into the upper 50s, if not lower 60s in some areas. Again, off of our highs from the lower 80s today, wherever you were, it was pleasant. It was a little bit warm, but the good news is a lot of people I saw getting out and enjoying, whether it be doing a little bit of yard work, getting on the old motorcycle and roaring down the highway. Otherwise, it was a good evening to do a little bit of grilling out. You'll still have the opportunity to do all of those things and more coming up later in the forecast. Take a look at regional temperatures. Big changes on the other side of this frontal boundary. Look at the 30 degree temperatures in Ashland, Wisconsin. 36 coming in Eau Claire on the eastern edge of this front and low pressure system. Look at the temperatures. Still 50s in Green Bay, 60s in Madison, Wisconsin, and still showing 70 degree temperatures down in Chicago at the current hour. Now the satellite radar combination does show precipitation, but it's not closer to us. In fact, it's along a stationary front that will just sit off to our west over the next couple of days. A large high pressure system builds off to the east, and that's what's providing our chance for more sunny weather and more warm temperatures as all of the southerly flow is still building into our area. So let's take a look at the upper level analysis. Still have the jet stream at play uh, and even that upper level low pressure system. It continues to make its way down to the south, and as it does, we'll see a surface trough build in place, allowing our chances uh, for a little bit of precipitation a little bit later in the forecast. It looks like it could be as early as the daytime on Sunday. We'll look a little bit closer to home at the next 48 hours. Frontal boundary stays off to the west, so we're going to deal with clear skies, even though this model does show a chance of rain showers late in the daytime, Wednesday, or Thursday into Friday. I believe most of us will stay dry for the time being. It's just going to be anything that pops up. It'll be scattered at best, and that will continue Sunday into Monday of next week. We're going to call for 57 degrees for an overnight temperature tonight. Mostly clear skies. How about your 1-800 Hansen's weather kid? McKenna's got the right idea. She's ready for more warm temperatures and a 77 degree reading. That's not bad for this time of the year. Still about uh, 14 degrees above normal. As we take a look at the next seven days, we're still in the 70s Friday and Saturday with more sun, chance of rain shower Sunday and Monday, and we dry out later next week. It looks like it's going to be a drying period, or at least a first start of May will be dry compared to April, where we see a record uh, regards to the rainfall, to the flooding. You don't have to worry about that at this current hour. Anything seems dry compared to April. I think that looks like a very nice start to May. I like it. I Thank agree. you. <laughs>